Before I get into today's video, I want to remind you to enter our giveaways. We have two giveaways going on right now. One is for a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X. You can comment, like, um, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. Information on how to enter is down in the description. Also, we're giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Uh, again, comment, like, subscribe, go ahead on to the description, find out other ways to enter. All right, we have some news on Super Mario 3D All-Stars, in particular sales, because guess what? Super Mario 3D All-Stars has outsold, yes, you heard that correctly, outsold Super Mario Odyssey in the UK, which is one of the major gaming regions in the entire world world in terms of overall sales crazy crazy stuff okay so we knew you know that super mario 3d world uh 3d all-stars had the third biggest launch of the year in the uk like the, i've known this for a little bit but now we have all this additional information coming from christopher dring and then also uh from nico partners senior analyst daniel ahmed and let's get into uh some things that we we know so during launch super mario 3d all-stars is the 15th biggest nintendo game launch of all time in the uk so this is all time dating all the way back to the nes the second biggest mario platformer launch right behind super mario odyssey now notable this is at launch for like the couple day period at launch odyssey did beat out very narrowly it denotes very narrowly it beat out super mario 3d all-stars in the same launch period that is the fifth biggest uk uk switch game launch of all time behind sword and shield new horizons smash ultimate and then mario odyssey uh, only three bigger UK physical game releases featuring Mario debuted bigger than 3D All-Stars. Those being Mario Kart Wii, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Odyssey. Super Mario Galaxy on Wii is the 22nd biggest UK launch game. Sunshine is the 35th, and, and Mario 64 is the 187th. So none of these games were even close to doing these numbers on their own. However, over a longer period, aka an entire week, okay? So we're not talking just the launch, you know, the, the, the few days that count in that launch period. We're talking for the first week. Nico Partner Senior Analyst Daniel Ahmed says that Super Mario 3D All-Stars had higher unit sales in the UK than Super Mario Odyssey for the entirety of that first week. Think about that. So in a one-week time span, even though Odyssey shot out the gate in its first few days a little bit quicker, 3D All-Stars is having already a better tale of sales. Now, think about this. Super Mario Odyssey sold... 18 plus million units worldwide. We already know that uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars had a great debut in Japan. Already know. 220,000 plus units sold in the first week. We'll get second week sales here in uh, you know four days. Uh, MPD we're not going to hear about till next month. But when that comes out, I expect to see massive numbers for 3D All-Stars. Guys, Super Mario 3D All-Stars very well might be a 10 plus million seller. And... Man, in some regions, it's going to outsell Odyssey. And Odyssey right now is the best-selling 3D platforming Mario game of all time. And we're talking, we are talking about 3D All-Stars getting numbers close to that potentially. You want to talk about record setting? Now, for some people, this is going to be disappointing. You're going to hear these sales and you're going to be like, man, this sucks because I really wish they would have did more with this game. And I get it. That's going to come up. Every time we talk about sales, you're going to get people in the comments that are going to say, hey, that's great, but this also sucks because it means Nintendo got away with, with minimal effort and now they're making oodles and oodles of money. Reality is Nintendo knows the demand for these games. Just like they know the demand if a Zelda collection happened that featured like Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, The Wind Waker, or like, you know, whatever, like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask even together as HD remasters. Nintendo knows. Nintendo knows the demand for these titles in HD. They're well aware. So minimal effort or not, emulated or not, it doesn't really matter. These are three of the greatest Mario games ever conceived, put together, and thrown out on the market. And right now, people are saying, we love it. Thank you, Nintendo. We love it. We want it. And it's a limited release. And that limited release is going to lead to it having a lot better sales, I feel like, over the next you know handful of months than it maybe would have otherwise. Because everyone knows March 31st is gone. Digitally and physically, it's gone. And we're talking mostly about physical sales. We're not even including digital because nintendo is, keeps that internal it could be crushing super mario odyssey for all we know it might not even be close now i've said if this game keeps selling like crazy 
all the way up to March 31st. There's no way Nintendo doesn't extend the deadline. Nintendo likes money. They're a business. They're not dumb. If this game is selling like hotcakes heading into March 31st, they're going to keep the sales up. Why would they stop making something that is selling this well? But again, we'll have to see because Mario Odyssey really like exploded in that first year. And then it's kind of fell off. You don't see Super Mario Odyssey hitting the top charts anymore. You know, a, a new big game comes out. Super Mario 3D All-Stars debuts right in Japan. What jumps, jumps back into the top 10 in sales? Breath of the Wild. Because what game do people keep picking up almost consistently when they buy a Switch? Breath of the Wild, right? They're not picking up Odyssey. Even though Breath of the Wild's on Wii U. They're not picking up Odyssey. It's not viewed as a must-have game. Despite the fact that it's my favorite 3D Mario game. So this is really, really interesting just to see what's happening with this collection, whether you agree with uh, what Nintendo did with it or not, just how it's being perceived and accepted by the grander uh, video game community, how well it's doing in sales. I mean, to me, it's at least exciting in that this this has to tell me that Nintendo is going to do something like this for Zelda. I always worried that because we got Twilight Princess HD on its own, we got the Wind Waker HD on its own. They sold it at 60 bucks a pop. It actually sold well on Wii U. That Nintendo might be a little more hesitant to package three Zelda games together, considering they know they could just HD them and release it for 60 bucks. However, seeing the sales of this, I can see why Nintendo would still be willing to package games together for the 35th anniversary of Zelda, simply because you're going to get sales numbers that aren't going to be like anything you would get selling them on their own. That's just the truth. Yes, Link's Awakening did really, really well on Switch, right? Four or five million or so. That's great. But imagine that you could try pack, you know, some of the best Zelda games of all time together, and all of a sudden, but bam, you're selling 10 plus million within a month. That's why I'm excited by what they did with Super Mario 3D All Stars. It's not about 3D All Stars, although. I really like Sunshine and what they did with Sunshine in the game. I realize there's still some bugs and some debug stuff, and it's not a perfect port. But, man, I can't help but be excited by the prospect of Nintendo doing this to Zelda games. And, obviously, we have the Metroid Prime Trilogy. But what if there's more than the Metroid Prime Trilogy next year? What if they decide to give us some of the best top-down or side-scrolling, I should say, uh, Metroid games, right? I am just thrilled by the possibilities. And thank you, people, for picking up this game because I feel like the signal we're sending Nintendo isn't so much about the whole lazy port job that people are all, you know, bashing Nintendo over, but more so indicative that there's such high demand for these games that Nintendo's going to keep bundling games together, even outside of anniversaries, and just keep tossing them out there. Just keep tossing them out there, giving us an opportunity to replay these games in HD. Uh, I'm, I am totally okay with that. I would love obviously to have them remade, right? I would love a Final Fantasy VII style remake for Ocarina of Time. It is a game that deserves such a remake, but it's not going to happen. Just not from Nintendo anyways. All right, folks, we, at least we got the little 3DS, you know, and that, that was, that was kind of neat. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Man, it feels good to be talking some mostly positivity stuff here around Nintendo. Uh, here on a Sunday. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.